Earlier in the show, we brought you some Halloween party hosting ideas, but don't forget about the decorations. Aaron Rochon from Aaron Rochon Design is here to show us some easy do-it-yourselves for the Halloween weekend. Good morning to you, Aaron. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Yay. Oh, we're so excited to have you here, and this looks amazing. Well, I have to say, Halloween is probably one of my most favorite times to DIY for because there's so much fun you can have. It's a great way to get creative. You can go extra spooky, or yeah. you can go a little bit yeah. more PG. But there's so much, <laughs> there's so much to be able to do. So I'm really excited today. Oh my goodness, where do we start? Okay, so let's talk about these pumpkins here first. Okay. okay. So these are actually um, a decor dupe. That means that um, these are huge right now in Pottery Barn, oh. and they're so huge that they have uh, sold out. And I think I brought a little video of just how to do this. So what I did is okay. I, and these are, I should say too, these are all really inexpensive super easy to do. So I got these jack-o'-lanterns, plastic from Dollar Store. All I, all I did is I took some, uh, spray, uh, some spray primer, I primed it, okay. and then the key to, 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 to getting this gorgeous terracotta look mm, is yeah. uh, I mixed some paint. I use Dixie Belle paint, but if you have acrylic paint at home, you can just do that. You okay. add in a little bit of either sand texture or baking soda to give it that, no that textured look. And this too, I should mention. So this I added on. This is actually air dry clay, just to kind of okay. give it that whimsical jack-o'-lantern look. Yeah. And then I just rubbed a little bit of flour over top of it to kind of give it that age look. But this is huge right now. It's so big with Pottery Barn that they're completely sold out. But this is a really inexpensive way. I think it cost me maybe four dollars to do. So. Okay. This. No, that's cool. Yeah, that's beautiful, and I love I love the aged look. Yeah. Just slightly aged with the the flower. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. So super okay. super easy to do, okay. and I should say I have all this up on my Instagram at Aaron Roshan Design if you want step by step on how to do it. Okay. So okay, the next thing I love these. So these are specimen jars. So imagine walking into a mad scientist Ooh. lab, yes. and you see all these spooky things. Now these are so easy to do and so inexpensive. So. These are actually, this jar here I got from the thrift store, thrift store, this I pulled oh. out of my recycling bin, yeah, bin. it's an old pickle jar, uh -huh. simple, easy to do. I got these little spooky little guys from the dollar store mm -hmm. and uh, all you need are these, the biggest purchase is these, I got them for $20, these are underwater lights that you can use, it okay. comes with remote control, it does so many cool things, I always pull them out for Halloween. So Stefan, if you don't mind, what I'm going to get you to yep. do, you're going to pour put some water into this jar, I'm going to put you to work. Fill it up all the way. Fill it up as high as you can get it. Okay. Perfect. And then we're going to put the lid just right on top of it. Okay. And then. I'm loving the lid as well. All I'm going to do is I'm going to press on. Oh, and there we go. That looks cool. And you can change it. So the cool thing about these is we can have a little bit of fun. Oh. We can keep it a little more sim uh, simple. Yeah. But you can see at a, at a Halloween party, this would be a really fun thing just to have yeah. up on the side. Super easy to do and you can do this with your kids as well. And where do we find these lights? Are these easy to find? And I just... actually, I got them on Amazon. Okay. I think they were like okay. $20. So okay. this was, I think, the most expensive thing that I bought through all of this. Yeah. Really, really easy to do. So. I mean, when it comes with the remote, well worth that price It makes point. it easy. Oh, and you can <laughs> oh, that's so much. Yeah. You can be in your house with the light. Let me try that. Yes. Let me try that. Whoa. And can you change? Oh, you, you can, can change, change up color. the yes. color. You can do anything. You I can like do strong oh. lights. These are fantastic to have. Super, oh, super easy fun. to do. This is easy. You don't have to be like too skilled in nope. like the visual arts department to yes. accomplish nope. this very Looks easy good. DIY. Very easy. And then I should just mention too, so I just added a little bit of extra touch. So I okay. just took these little skulls, glued it on top. And then all you have to do is just glue the light to the bottom. And that's it. that's it. Super, super easy. And you got a free jar there, like you said, a pickle jar. That's a right. pickle jar. Wash super out those easy. Jam jars. Yeah, these are great. So Done. yeah, upcycling is fantastic. Okay. Yeah. That okay. is great. So the next thing that I want to mention, this, I love this. Mm. So this is nice. a pool noodle candlestick. Okay. So the great thing is that if you have oh some of these gosh. left over from the summer, which yeah. a lot of people do, yes. you know, rather than you have have your kids what running around <laughs> <Yeah. each other. laughs> you can use it for this. And this is something that you can actually have the kids help you with too. Okay. So for this, I'm just going to show you how quickly how to do it. Okay. So you got your pool noodle, super easy serrated knife. You're mm -hmm. just going to cut it on a diagonal just like this. 
Rosie, Erin didn't want me cutting myself. She didn't trust me with a knife, so I couldn't help with this one. I get it. She must She's have like, seen me build that house earlier. <laughs> you did a pretty good job, but yeah, Erin, let let Erin take over here. <laughs> okay, so then once you've once you've done this, you're just going to cut out the middle. You're going to take one of these little candles because essentially what you want this to do, you want okay. this to fit in. Yeah. Now I did this before because I don't want anyone to get burned. Mm -hmm. But you're going to use a glue gun, and what I suggest is that if you're going to get a glue gun, get a like a get a, a good brand of glue gun because okay. it's more safe to use and you won't end up hurting yourself and this is where really the magic happens so all I did is I just took my glue gun and just dripped it kind of all yeah. along the side to give yeah. it that dripped that melted wax look yep so that's it and then once you've done that you're gonna take this outside get some spray paint okay. and you're gonna spray the whole thing down and it's gonna change and turn into color to this black color just like this that's, and that's my it. favorite. That looks yep. great. And then great all job. you're going to do is you're just going to glue it all together. You're okay. going to put it all together with some hot glue. You can add some, some little uh, flowers, some skulls. I had a little bit of fun with this guy and stuck uh, a candle right on top Oops. of the skull. Look at the levels, head. the principles of design coming yeah. through. Yeah. Erin is so on. good. Like she said, it's her Come favorite on, time, Aaron. right? For decorating. <laughs> so fun. For and then DIYs. all you need are just these little flameless candles to put in. Yeah. And you've got a gorgeous centerpiece that you could put on your table if you're having a Halloween party. And having all of this up, it's just a lot of fun. It's yeah. great it for the kids. It's not a lot of work. Um, and and it's, it's cost effective. Very, like very. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is great. I mean, DIY to the max. You really showed us how to do it. Stefan, I'm going to give you the remote yes. here. Change you those colors and have the some remote. fun with that. Aaron Rochon, thank you again. Oh, Getting into the spooky Halloween <laughs> spirit. There he is. Change those colors. He's playing with the remote. Oh, boy. <laughs>